Government College was founded in the year of our Lord 1929. These slide adaptations and songs and voice narrations were composed by Professor Akame Kenge Neme, who graduated from the class of 1972, credits to Wikipedia, Fisher Trust Publications, and Professor Shike Moma. Class of 1944. Please visit www.fishertrust.org and update your information, and also join the movement. Twenty years after the establishment of King's College, which was the first government-owned high school set up by the British colonial government, three similar public schools were founded in 1929. These three institutions include, Government College Amuahia, Government College Ebatuan, Government College Zaria. These colleges were designed to follow the traditions of British public schools such as Eton, Harrow and Winchester. Government College Amalia was also known as the Eton of the East because it was located in Nigeria's Orient. It was known for its elite standards and selectivity. The college was the best premier school in Nigeria. And we all should strive to restore this great center of excellence to its former glory of first amongst equals. Though so much has been written about government college Amalia. Over the years, so vast and rich is its 86-year history that no single book or publication can tell it all. In brief, the school was established by the British colonial government in January 1929. The founder and first principal was Reverend Robert Fisher, a British missionary. The college is located roughly four miles from the town along Amalia, Ikadekpan Road. He negotiated and acquired land a little more than four square miles in area, then set about laying the foundations of the Eton and Harrows of West Africa. He visioned it as a world-class training school for boys. This vision was met and actually surpassed in many respects. It was arguably the best secondary school in Nigeria and perhaps West Africa. This is evidenced by its long line of distinguished old boys. Government College indeed, has had a long and proud history of educating boys into leaders in virtually all fields of human endeavor and society. Academics, Government College has drawn students from among the best performing from Nigeria and Southern Cameroons. It has classrooms and laboratories. All students complete core courses in the arts and sciences. Students participate in sports like cricket, hockey, handball and football. There are two standard fields, the upper and lower fields, cricket pavilions, seven lawn tennis courts, basketball court, an Olympic-sized track field. It is a nine-hole golf course, a botanical garden, and an aquarium. The English artist and archaeologist, Kenneth C. Murray, pioneered modern art education in Nigeria when he left Balliol College, Oxford and arrived in Nigeria in 1927 to teach art. He taught art at the Government College from 1933 to 1939 and started the art gallery which had in its collection the works of C.C. Beto, Otman Ibrahim, and the early charcoal drawings of Ben and Hornu. The gallery was looted and destroyed during the Nigerian Biafra Civil War, 1967 to 1970 when the school was closed to serve as the general staff headquarters of the Secessionist Republic of Biafra. K.C. Murray himself had left Amalia in 1939 to become director and surveyor of Nigerian antiquities, and the editor of the Nigeria magazine from work he did at Amalia. The Government College Amalia also had an officer cadet corps that offered instruction camps in field drills and adventure training. It produced professionally trained military officers before the Nigerian Civil War including General George Karubo, first Southern Nigerian to be trained at Sandhurst and first Nigerian Chief of the Nigerian Air Force. General Alex Matibo, General Officer Commanding the defunct Biafran Army, General Patrick Nwana, Tony Az, Tim Anwa Adawa, C.C.M. Elefangwa, Ibanga Akanim, August Ope, 
Colonel Dr. Bassian Yang, etc. Government College of Mahia. Also produces an unusual high number of literary elite who influenced African literature more than any other educational. Please note that the comprehensive list of notable Amaians is too long for this short presentation. The list of names at the end of this presentation is grossly inadequate. Effort is underway to update the list of notable Amaians beyond those found in Wikipedia and other publications. For the first 50 years of its existence, the school consistently churned out quality students who went on to become world-class intellectuals, professionals and statesmen. It broke virtually all academic records available in the country. As an institution, Government College led the country to a number of academic firsts. 1947, the first school allowed to take Cambridge School Certificate exam after five years and not six. 1948, Government College had the highest number of entrants into Nigeria's first university college, Abadan at commencement. 1947 to 1952, for five years in a row, the best graduating students with first-class honors in chemistry at University College, Abaddon were Government College alumni. 1952, Government College produced the first person of African descent to obtain a Ph.D. in geodesy, and later also the first African descent professor of geodesy. 1954, Government College produced the first person of African descent to obtain a Ph.D. in geodesy, and later also the first African descent professor of geodesy. 1952, Government College student, Gregory Tunney became the first student in West Africa to come out first in Cambridge School Certificate Examination Worldwide. He later completed his doctorate degree in six months. Government College was the first school allowed to take West African School Certificate after four years instead of five years. 1975, Government College produced the student with the best West African Examination Certificate result in 1975, Macaulay Wana Igbo together with three other Amaians who also scored aggregate 06 that year. Just to mention a few. The decline, however, government college quality has declined substantially over the past 40 to 45 years. The decline has its roots in the Nigeria by Afro Civil War, which was fought between 1967 and 1970. The school was closed for the period of the war, and afterwards things were never quite the same. It was impossible to cocoon the school from realities and its surroundings. The period after the war was one of desperation, deprivation and dearth of resources. The military administration eventually took over schools. Discipline and merit went through the window. These developments had grave implications for staff, students and the standards the school kept pre-war. Entry standards were no longer adhered to for all sorts of reasons. Other reasons were neglect of the education sector, under-resourcing, bribery and corruption, lowering of admission standards, Decline in quality of teachers and teaching. Overpopulation. Decay in infrastructure. Lack of maintenance. Nothing was spared, from library to laboratories, classrooms, dormitories, sports pitches, the well manicured lawns and the paved roads. It has been a heart-wrenching and most tortuous experience for distinguished alumni these past years. The Fisher Educational Development Trust, determined to put an end to the rot and restore the school as a citadel of excellence, the government. College Amalia. Old Boys Association worldwide approached the government to hand back the school to it to restructure, fund and manage in a sustainable way. It therefore, set up the Fisher Educational Development Trust as the vehicle that will drive the process. It now requests all old boys, friends, well-wishers, lovers of education, the government, and community as well as NGOs, international organizations and individuals to rally around the trust by donating generously towards the noble cause of recreating a government college that prepares people to lead, a college that generates excellence again. This is an important model and experiment for education in Nigeria. The alumni, in its esteem at history, Government College Amalia, has produced some of the most distinguished Africans in virtually all fields of human endeavor that it is always a difficult task to select the most distinguished out of an unbroken line of distinguished men. Among the reasons government college became great was the quality of the teaching staff. Some of the expatriate staff were products of Eton College, Harrows, Oxford and Cambridge. They brought their very high standards with them to government college. Many of the teachers too were authors of great books. Among them were a. J. Carpenter, Master 1937, author of West African Nature Study. 
R. H. Stone and A. B. Cozen, Master and Principal Early 1950s, Authors of Biology for Schools. Alaska Werehan, Principal Mid 1952nd, Author, Map Reading. N. P. L. O. A., Senior Geography Master 1955-1960s, Author, Geography for West Africa and Geography of Nigeria. Government College Old Boys have the opportunity to restore government college legacy of excellence. On the July 21, 2014, Habia State Government and Old Boys signed a Memorandum of Understanding to transfer responsibility to a government college Old Boys, sponsored trust the Old Boys have worked together to develop a blueprint to restore government college to the status of a world-class institution that is rooted in government college timeless values, yet providing an education for 21st century leadership. Now is the time for government college old boys to rise to the challenge and support the restoration of our alma mater. A total net investment of $3.3 billion is required over the next five years, including $1 billion to be raised now. Donors will be recognized and honored in a range of ways commensurate with their contribution, including facilities naming honors, and memorialization on a new government college wall of honor. On June 10, 2014 delegation presented the governor a blueprint for government college restoration. Responsibility for the management and funding of government college will now rest with the Old Boys Association and the Trust. Proposal to Governor, transfer responsibility for management and funding of government college to a private charitable trust to be set up by the Old Boys, including representation by the state. Trustees are to be appointed by Old Boys. The Governor of Abia will appoint representatives to the Board of Trustees. Advantages of Proposals, takes away the heavy burden of financing government college from Abia government. Secures stewardship and financial support of government college old boys worldwide. Can better attract corporate CSR funding. Attract, compensate and sustain world-class faculty. Greater management flexibility, faculty support and compensation. Curriculum, for example restoring a levels. Sustainability and stability of governance, management, and financial model. The Government College Old Boys Association has come together to develop a blueprint for the restoration of government college Amalia. Government College was a beacon of excellence and source of pride for Amalia. The region, and all of Nigeria. Amalia. Was rapidly developing a reputation as the Eden of the East, and I fancied receiving an education akin to the Royals of England. Chinua Ajabis, Government College Old Boy. Government College Amalia. Was singularly in its own class. It was first among equals. Professor P.O.C. Ama, Government College Old Boy. Government college had a real culture of excellence and we held ourselves to high standards of excellence in everything. Government college old boy in interview. It lived up to its billing as an Eton college in Africa. Government college old boy in interview. Government college values made it great. Discipline, I'll be before complain, that was the first Amahi in law. Excellence, we held ourselves and each other to high standards of excellence in everything, especially academics. Meritocracy, it did not matter who your father was, the same standard and same rules applied to everyone. Service, we were imbued with a sense of higher purpose. Money was not the be-all and end-all. Determination, government college students were determined to be the best. The drive to succeed was instilled in all of us. Integrity, if a student broke the rules, he was not revered by others. He was admonished as a letdown to all of us. We expected better. Government college is no longer able to attract families who otherwise feel a strong loyalty to the school and to Amalia. Interview he quotes, so many families in the diaspora want to send their children home for secondary school, but when they look here they do not see anywhere their child can go. I have sent my children to Jesuit College and Joe's and Hilton College in South Africa. Of course I would have preferred they attend government college if it still offered excellence. No old boy would even think of sending his son to government college today. 
That is the tragedy of the situation right there. A restored government college would attract so many families to Amalia and Abia from all across Nigeria and the diaspora. And it would be a platform for talented local children to succeed. We intend to restore government college to the status of a world-class institution, rooted in government college timeless values and equipped with an education for 21st century leadership. Government college old values and culture, the culture and values that made government college great remain relevant today, discipline, excellence, meritocracy, service, determination, integrity, educated for 21st century leadership. We need to prepare talented young Nigerians for leadership across a wide range of endeavors, in a rapidly changing world. Foundation of academic excellence. Problem solving and learning skills. Diverse talents cultivated. Leadership, entrepreneurship, service locally rooted, globally aware. Technology fluent. The old boys has developed a blueprint for government college restoration. In developing the blueprint, we conducted extensive research and consultation, and drew on the services of local and international experts. Research process, old boys deliberations, establishment of subcommittees. Interchapter planning calls. With Nigeria, USA, and UK subcommittees. Interviews, over 10 interviews with respected old boys economic advisor to the governor of Abia. Multiple site visits to government college. Quantity surveyor, assessment of physical restoration costs for current buildings. Architectural planning, starting with initial restoration concept. Implementation will be in phases, starting with phase 1, restoring a standard of excellence at government college. Restore government college historical standards of excellence 3 to 5 years. Transition to, re-establish high standards for entrance, behavior and performance. Recruit world-class school leadership and faculty. Measure and track student outcomes. Set school goals. Restore facilities to basic functionality, residences, functional classes, running water, technology, etc. Develop facilities master plan. Government College, a world-class secondary school for the 21st century. 6 to 20 years, demonstrate excellence through graduates. Earn high achievement internationally, for example Olympiads. Attract students from throughout the country and diaspora. Establish a reputation as Nigeria's top secondary school. Build endowment for strong financial sustainability. Establish technical and art skills center of excellence. Establish teacher training ampersand continuous development program and institute at government college. Excellence beyond secondary school, 21 to 50 years. Maintain standards of excellence as West Africa's top secondary school. Determine if and what programs to establish beyond secondary school and service of government colleges mission, for example Teacher Training Institute Girls School of Excellence Tertiary Institution. Post-university alumni career and success support skills programs of community, etc. We have already made progress on the 2014 implementation requirements. 2014, enter Memorandum of Understanding between Abia State and Old Boys, done. Establish trust, done. Communicate with key stakeholders. Ongoing. Secure committed funds for 2014 to 2016. Develop facilities master plan. Develop school transition plan. 2015, begin renovations of facilities. Hire head of school, academic dean, residential dean, and key other staff as per transition plan. Secure balance of phase 1 funding, conduct training for current government college teachers. 2016 to 2019, begin transition and culture change under new school leadership. Implement support of teacher and student transition plan. Complete facilities renovation as per plan. 
demonstrate improved results on West African Examination Council and possibly other international assessments. Now is the time for old boys to rise to the challenge and support the restoration of our alma mater. A total net investment of 3.3 billion is required over the next five years, including 1 billion to be raised now. Amaians who pass through this wonderful institution during the years of academic and cultural depression should take consolation in the potentiality of a resurgent Amalia. As a future reality, Professor Dennis Ayama, 1950, school captain. A net restoration investment of 3.3 billion is required over five years preliminary financial projections, restoration phase, year 0 to 4. 2.1 billion, over five years. 2015, 800 million. 2016, 400 million. 2017, 400 million. 2018, 250 million. 2019, 250 million. Sources, Government College Old Boys. Corporate CSR. Operating and maintenance costs, 2.1 billion, over 5 years. 2015, 100 million. 2016, 250 million. 2017, 350 million. 2018, 550 million. 2019, 850 million. Sources, over 5 years, student fees, 44%, 0.9 billion, old boys slash corporate, 57%, 1.2 billion. Total investment required, 2.1 billion facilities COPEX. 1.2 billion OPEX, net of revenue. Total estimated funding of 4.2 billion required over 5 years. 2.1 billion facilities capital. 2.1 billion OPEX. Less student fees of 0.9 billion. Net investment to be raised of 3.3 billion. After restoration phase, that is post-2019, by year 8, student fees cover and exceed annual OPEX, 2.0 billion. Augmented by other endowment, old boys gifts, etc. The government college old boys are expected to underwrite the funding requirement with a 1 billion initial commitment. Meeting government colleges restoration requirement, financial sources. The old boys will collectively contribute 1 billion naira to government colleges restoration, following agreement with Abia State. With generous contribution by old boys, we can raise well over 1 billion. Donors will be recognized and honored. The task ahead may look challenging, but challenges are meant to be overcome. Amaians are adequately equipped for this sort of challenge. All through our proud history, we have never lacked the men, capacity and commitment to take up tasks and successfully accomplish them. We have long talked of, and worked towards this opportunity to take responsibility for our alma mater, to restore it to relevance and excellence. We are not about to let ourselves, and our predecessors down. We envision a phased approach to government colleges restoration, with a first focus on re-establishing a standard of excellence on campus. Restore government colleges historical standards of excellence. 3-5 years. Transition to, re-establish high standards for entrance behavior and performance. Recruit world-class school leadership and faculty. Measure and track student outcomes. Set school goals. Restore facilities to basic functionality, residences, functional classes, running water, technology, etc. Develop facilities master plan. Government College, a world-class secondary school for the 21st century. 6 to 20 years, demonstrate excellence through graduates. Earn high achievement internationally, for example Olympiads. Attract students from throughout country and diaspora. Establish a reputation as Nigeria's top secondary school. Build endowment for strong financial sustainability. Establish technical and art skills center of excellence. Establish teacher training Amperson Continuous Development Program and Institute at Government College. Excellence beyond secondary school. 21 to 50 years, maintain standards of excellence as West Africa's top secondary school. Determine if and what programs to establish beyond secondary school in service of government college's mission, for example teacher training institute, girls school of excellence, tertiary institution, post-university alumni career and success support skills programs of community etc. Student outcome goals. With each phase, we should achieve measurable improvement in government college's student outcomes. Restore government college historical standards of excellence. 3 to 5 years. 
for current senior secondary student body, increased qualification rates for university, increased percent qualification rate for university, for current JSS students who remain at government college beyond JS3, 100% graduation pass rate and university qualification, complete a seminal project, all new admits to be on pace for levels of success, government college, a world-class secondary school for the 21st century, 6 to 20 years, graduate success goals, 100% university qualification, 100% first qualification from next institution of higher learning in 5 years from start, academic excellence, top tier performance on Cambridge and international baccalaureate globally, every student complete seminal project, human excellence, community service graduation requirement, other metrics and goals to be determined, excellence beyond secondary school, 21 to 50 years, maintain standard of excellence on graduate success, academic excellence, and human excellence specific metrics and goals to be determined. Students, we will raise the quality of incoming students over a three to five year period. Student entrance requirements, guided by government colleges value of meritocracy, we will establish and guard high entrance standards. All students expected to meet or exceed high minimum standards. Entrance examination requirement to be set. Interviews and leadership evaluation for shortlisted candidates, group case studies or problem solving, character interviews, etc. Target school composition. Objective is to create a diverse student population that is locally anchored. Target population of 2 to 750 students. Demographic and diversity considerations apply only after merit-based criteria are met. Diversity valued in multiple forms as valued, ethnic language, interests and talents, etc. Long-term target demographics, 15% Amaian, 30% Abian, 50% Southeast and South-South, 75% Nigerian, 90% African, 10% rest of the world. Transition process, objective is to steadily increase the caliber of students while also safe, guarding and supporting government colleges current students. All current senior students continue through to matriculation. All current junior students the complete JS3 with opportunity to set entrance exams and interviews for SS1. New students only accepted for JS1 with new admission requirements and process. Key steps, hire a director of admissions. Communicate with current student and staff at appropriate time. Define new application and person selection process. Begin recruitment. Top local students and families from SE is likely first focus. Students, we will raise the quality of incoming students over a 3 to 5 year period, and maintain total enrollment at a level where quality can be maintained. Long term goal of 750 students from JS1 to SS3. Safeguard the well being of current government college students. From 2016, new JS1 class of 75 students, increasing to 125 students by 2018. For quality considerations, government college will initially need to reduce its enrollment size significantly. However, government college old boys is prepared and assist in ensuring there are opportunities for the number of Abian students no longer able to attend government college, such as through the construction of new school buildings elsewhere. Students, we will gradually work towards our target student composition over a 10-year period. Long-term goal of 750 students from JS1-SS3 Sustainability, Government College would be financially self-sustaining within 8 years of handover to a management trust, based on tuition fees alone. Sustainability, we have a clear line of sight to financial sources for both restorations investment and longer-term sustainability. Future needs to be determined by master plan. Sources. Student levies, capital gifts, endowment, interest, debt, operating and maintenance costs, sources, student fees, greater than 100%, endowment, per scholarships, etc. Loyola Jesuit College, Nigeria. Considered by many to be Nigeria's and possibly West Africa's top secondary school. Best West African Examination Council examinations results for the past seven years. Scores in 2013. 42% A1S, 19% B2S, 24% B3S, 4% C4S, 3% C5S, 3% C6S, 4% DF. It has 600 students, with boarding. And track record of sending graduates to world's leading universities. For example Harvard, Princeton, Oxford, 
Cambridge, as well as leading universities in Nigeria. Reputation built of high standards that are never compromised. Student entrance requirements, all students treated the same, regardless of personal background or wealth. Eton College, England, considered by many to be Britain's top boys' independent school. Government College was founded to be an Eton in Nigeria, developing gentlemen and scholars for leadership in pre-independence Nigeria. 1320 students, 100% boarding. 20% of pupils at Eton receive financial support, through bursaries and scholarships. Alumni include, 19 British Prime Ministers, including David Cameron. Royalty, including Princes William and Harry. Authors George Orwell and Ian Fleming, scientists Robert Boyle, John Maynard and Smith, economists John Maynard Keynes and Richard Laird, and numerous others. The reason it's a good school is that it encourages people to find the thing they love and to go for it. They champion the talent of the individual. Tom Heidelston, actor and old Etonian. African Leadership Academy, South Africa, a leadership institution for exceptionally talented students from all across Africa. An admissions rate that is lower than Harvard University. Students from over 40 countries across Africa, and a small number of students from outside Africa. Graduates attend top universities across the world and across the continent. 200 students, all in the final two years of secondary school. Success formula equals potential plus practice plus opportunity. Potential, find exceptional students from all across Africa. Practice, intensive two-year program of intellectual growth and hands-on leadership development. Opportunity, a network and post-school support along their path to impact in Africa. The future, vision ampersand goals, human capital development. Significant representation for every stakeholder. Stature and visibility. Admiration and support of the government college old boys in Nigeria and worldwide. Economic development. Investment from high net worth parents who visit. Join us, let the legacy of excellence continue. Welcome to the Fisher Educational Development Trust's website, www.thefishertrust.org. We intend to restore government college to the status of a world-class institution, rooted in government college's timeless values, and equipped with an education for 21st century leadership. Mission, the Fisher Educational Development Trust was established to secure ownership of government college Amalia. Restore it as a citadel of excellence and ensure its good management and funding in a sustainable way. Our motto, live, learn, leave a legacy. Fisher calls, history beckons. May we continue to shine as one. <laughs>